Hello everybody and welcome to this video. Uh, today's project is going to be this, which is a kinetic electric generator which we'll be using to power this LED. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so the very first thing that we're going to be doing is building the head of the generator. Uh, this is a really, really simple design, and as a result, all we're going to be needing is one cork, five spray paint can lids, and five wooden skewer sticks. Okay, so the first part really is very simple. All you need to be doing is drill a hole on either side of the spray paint can lid and feed through one of the skewer sticks. It really is worth putting in time and effort to make sure that the holes are perfectly centered in the can and also perfectly opposite each other. This way when you feed the skewer stick through it goes right through the middle of the lid and this maximizes the efficiency of the generator and just means that the whole thing runs much more smoothly so it really is putting in a little bit of extra effort to, uh, to make sure that this happens. So once you've done this for all five lids you should have something looking a little bit like this. So the only thing left to do now with the arms is just trim off the excess. I try to make sure that there's around 10 centimeters from the point of the skewer to the beginning of the paint lid, but this can increase or decrease depending on the number of arms that you use for your project. I just use a pair of kitchen scissors which actually turned out to be perfect because it frayed the ends of the skewer, and this basically acts as a plug stopping the, the lid from, from sliding off the end. Now once we've done the arms, the important thing to do is you want to get the cork and you want to divide it into five equal segments, and on the edge of each segment you just push in the uh, push in the arm into the cork, uh, and it should stay there by itself. But you can add a bit of glue if you're if you're worried about it, and then obviously just realign the, the paint lids so that they're all in the same direction. So now onto the really fun part: the electronics. For this project, we're going to be using two uh, 100 microfarad capacitors, two 100 kilo ohm resistors, eight diodes and one servo motor. For this servo motor it really is worth investing in quite a big chunky one just so that it can uh, generate enough power to, to properly power the LED. Uh, if you look on my struggles page, link in the description, you'll be able to find a link to the one that I bought. But I mean really any heavy duty servo motor for six, seven pounds on Amazon should do the trick. And obviously as well as that we're going to be using a breadboard and some connector wires. This is the schematic that I'm going to be using. Um, sorry if, if it doesn't mean anything to you. Uh, if, if that's the case, then again, check out my Shredwells page. There's a lot better photos and breakdowns of the, uh, of the circuits so that hopefully you can recreate it as, uh, as accurately as possible. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, let's, let's crack on with this electronics. So I start off with the diodes. If you're unfamiliar with the diode circuit symbol, it's the triangle with a straight line. If you look on the diodes, you'll see that there's a grey line on one of the ends. That represents the straight line. So uh, this should help you with the polarisation and putting it in and whatnot. Uh, so after the diodes, then go in with the capacitor and the resistor. It's really important that you put the capacitor in the right way around. The long long leg is the uh, is the positive, and the short leg is the negative. You can tell because there is again, there's like it's, it says so on the capacitor basically. But do make sure you put it the right way, otherwise it can well explode. Um, so then it's time to just connect everything up. This can be quite tedious, so it is worth uh, paying close attention to the schematic for this. But then after that, everything should be uh, should be done. So next up I've just connected an LED to the output and using a hairdryer I'm just powering my generator. Yes, that's not the brightest LED you've ever seen, it's not going to be powering your house anytime soon. But this is a really nice project to get you started with uh, power generation and getting you familiar with the techniques and the circuitry required if you want to take it further and go into a more hardcore power generation. So that's it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed, if so please don't forget to uh, leave a like and subscribe, I do have a couple more interesting videos in the pipeline for the next couple of weeks, so that should be good. Um, if you want to check out any of my other videos, I'd recommend how to make a remote control BB-8 droid from Star Wars, uh, that's a personal favourite of mine, uh, but yeah, thanks for joining and I, I hope to see you next time.